sorry, I was really nervous and then you guys gave me a warm welcome. And right now I'm very excited, never been this excited since I was a little girl, but that's alright. <laughs> Further, let me introduce myself. My name is Matthew George. Some people call me Ronnie. It's a dog's name my parents gave me. Um, but my parents also decided just for fun, they will put a middle name in. And they call me Matthew Plymouth George. Can somebody say the name? Plymouth! That's the problem. I can't. I, 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 nobody can pronounce it right. It's Matthew Plymouth George. I couldn't pronounce it right. When I was in school, uh, these Chinese people come to me, hey, your name is uh, Matthew Paralimbum. <laughs> I was thinking my tiny voice Matthew Paralimbum, George. Matthew Paralimbum, John, no more to you. That's mine, oh. <laughs> I thought you were some Silonis first, I think. I'm going to be being in it, right? It's going to be a big Maria and Silonis fight. Anyway. Testament of the Bible, and John is like Western blood, you know. So I got like Matthew John, but some of the Chinese people went to they like Matthew, you name Matthew, Matthew, you name 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 Matthew, you And I was very angry, I was like, um, for seven years old, at the same time when Kevin was hearing about Buddha eating the and stuff. <laughs> I, I asked my mom questions like, Ma, why? Why did you name it Pulliman? Because it's suffering in school, Ma. Why did you name it Pulliman, Ma? And then, uh, my mom sat me down, like, you know, it was like a revolution, you know, I must tell my son this thing and carry on the legacy, you know. <laughs> she sat me down, son, you listen properly, huh? You listen, huh? I name you Pulimat because you know what is Pulimat now? Pulimat is a clan in India. <laughs> now you see, right? It's a group of people in India. But when my mom tells me Pulimat is a clan, the only clan you know when you're seven is the Wu Tang clan. And I'm the Wu Tang clan. I'm from a clan. You know, I'm a clan. Stop, yo. Put it in the mic, man. <laughs> and she told me it's a clan, man. I didn't understand it. A clan. I said, Ronnie, I named you after the Pulimadit clan because it is one of my favorite clans in India. And I'm like, oh, 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 so that's the way it is. You want to name your children after your favorite things or not? And you know what I'm going to do? I told my mother just straight in the face and I said, you know what I want to name my children? I'm going to name them after my favorite food joints. I'm going to name them. If it's a boiler, huh? we'll name him with a nice name. We'll probably put a Bible name there, a mark. Okay? Then I'll name my favorite joint in him. Kanada Jaya Sifu Center George. <laughs> That's what it's going to be called. Mark Kanada Jaya Sifu Center George. If I name a girl, it should be Denise. Sri Pandi's George. I hate, I'm telling you, honestly, I hate being a comedian. I just, I don't like to tell people, hi, my name is Matthew, I'm a comedian, because you know why? I've got a bunch of friends. In fact, all my friends, they'll be like, hey, Matthew, he's a comedian. He's like, yeah, he's a comedian, a comedian, yeah, that's right. Induja used to go, oh, this is Matthew, he used to be a clown. He's a real clown in class. I'm like, hey, bad lie. So I tell people, oh, I'm Matthew, I'm a bachelor's in communications, yes, thank you very much. And, but I never liked it, because you know, when people come to me, hey, you're a comedian, huh? hey, tell me a joke, lah. <laughs> tell a comedian, tell a joke, lah. It's not that I live a life of comedy, I don't go to people and, you know, oh, hi, my name's Matthew George. Why didn't the turkey cross the road? Because it wasn't chicken. <laughs> I don't do that shit, you know? Now, when I was young, um, I was in primary school, then I was a big gangster in secondary school, as you all can see. It's a damn big gangster day! You all don't know. I, would, I used to whack the crap out of people. 
Okay, I was the nerd now, I know that. <laughs> Being a nerd is cool because you know why you can analyze these gangsters, you do research. I used to do a lot of research of gangsters. I was a real geek, you know. I used to see these gangsters, and in my school, gangsters were split by race, Indian, Chinese, Malay, right? The Malay fellas, when I go and talk to them, or if there's a problem, right, they talk really fast. Do you all realize that? They, they don't talk like the movie, you know, the side they don't talk like that. They, they talk really fast and they got a, a different accent, you know. You go to Langkawi, there's a different accent. You go to you go to Kiala, they'll be like, hey, can I tell you, I'm going to get a boy, I'm going to get a boy, I'm going to get a boy, and then they use English, you know. Hey, you dengan I, ni kenapa ya, problem eh? You dengan I, hey, kami kan geng-geng, sama kan? Hey, wait, I'm going to get a boy. I cannot speak to them because then I get into it and be like, hey, tapi bang, I can't do that, you know. But I used to watch the Chinese people. Chinese people were cool. I wanted to beat the Chinese people. They were cool. Because you know why? When they, they're just so fashion sensed, you know. I, I love their fashion. They, they come, right? They come to you. There's a big problem, you know. One day there was one massive problem, like Indian Chinese flu, so no. So, are you laughing at the way I'm talking about it? It's you outside, you know. We'll play rugby outside the field, bro. And Chinese people, I love them because their fashion sense is amazing. They, they, I used to come in, you know, the school shirt, like that, the pants, all them, lonely, two inches down your butt, and all right. This was used to come, right? Pants be damn tight, very tight, and then poof. Shit, like you know, body hugging shirt, the collar will be that big, uh, the sleeves all will be like, like that, and I'm sure the muscle a bit or whatever's left of it. And then they'll be having that hairstyle, you know, the, the flock of seagulls hairstyle, you know? And you know, the color, the hair, like, like some McDonald's thing, you know? And, and they come to you holding your mouth, bro, right? Okay, Matthew, what is the problem now? Seriously, I don't like the problem. Okay, you want to fight? And they don't speak, I mean they speak English, it's good, but they just change the English, you know. One day I had a friend, I was going through a problem, so I told my friend, what the hell, the friend's going to get it from me, you know. My Chinese friend goes, hey, what the shit out, I met you, bloody hell. Bloody hell, chill out, huh? Hey, yo. Hey, hey. My Chinese friends are really cool, because you know, they really put fashion into it, you know. The Beckham will be happy, you know. Indian people are the coolest and I'm proud to be Indian like no. Yeah, that's the clan people like you know what I mean. Indian gangsters, sir, they're just uber cool. Like. When they come to you, they want to breastfeed you. you know? But if there's a problem, it's always breastfeeding. Maybe like, hey, you got problems, eh? Hey, you got problems, eh? Come on, you come, hey, you got problems, eh? You come now! Come on, I'll whack you, eh? Hey, must be come. That's what I like about Indian gangsters, you know, and then, and then right, you can always see one gang fight, the big fella, his name will always be Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob, hey, Bob, come here, Bob. The big fella, his name is Bob, you know. He'd be standing there in a problem, he just look cool, like, like. And the good big fellas, the small fellas, the skinny ones, uh, who are really noisy, bro. Hey, come now, hey, come now. 